Hi, this is April. Welcome back to my channel. I recently took my GoPro Hero 11 to the auto show and I noticed a lot of blurry footage and I wondered if it was possibly due to the low lighting. And I watched a bunch of videos from other creators on the best low light settings and I wanted to try these out for myself. The first suggestion was to film at 24 frames per second in 4K and have your shutter speed manually set to 1 over 48, which I have done. And they also say to turn hyper smooth off, but I'm gonna leave it on for my first test. I'm gonna leave it set to boost. And some of the creators said that if you have it set to a wide field of view, that'll help. But I prefer linear with horizon lock because I am notorious for unlevel footage. So this first test is with hyper smooth turned on to boost and, and with the field of view set to linear with horizon lock on. So you can let me know how blurry this looks as I move. I have this set on a little Ulanzi tripod and you can let me know if you see some of the same blurring that I did because my lighting in my home is not the best. So this should be a perfect test especially in this dim hallway. I also have the ISO set for a minimum of 100 and a maximum of 800. That is also what they suggested. Okay, and now this is also set to linear with horizon lock, but this time I have the hyper smooth just turned to on instead of boost. So let me know how this looks. If you hear any scampering noises, that would be my little kittens. Let me know if you see a lot of jittery, blurry footage as I move around. Hopefully this tripod is helping out somewhat. Now this test is with hyper smooth turned completely off, which is supposed to give you better footage, but I also have it set to field of view linear. And again, if you hear scampering in the background, that is my little kitten, Ruthie. Ruthie. Let me know what you think this looks like with hyper smooth turned off. I don't know if I'm willing to have hyper smooth turned off because that's one of the main reasons why I got a GoPro. Okay, one of the final tests I'm going to do is I have the field of view set to wide. Some of the other creators suggested that having it set to wide would let more light in on the sensor and it would produce better low light footage. I am keeping hyper smooth turned off just to see if this is usable footage and basically to see if wide makes any noticeable difference. Then I'm gonna do another test with hyper smooth turned on, and then finally with hyper smooth turned to boost while I have it in this wide aspect ratio. So let me know what you think. I usually don't like to vlog in public very often, but the GoPro being so small, it definitely helps me get over that awkward feeling carrying a larger camera. I recently bought a full frame camera, which was sort of a mistake. I thought that would be best for low light, but it's so heavy, I can hardly take it with me anywhere. Okay, and this is set to wide with hyper smooth on. And let me know how you think this looks. I do like the wider aspect ratio, especially when I'm outside, it shows more of nature all around me. Linear though is so good for helping me to keep things level with that horizon lock. Let me know what you think this footage looks like. I think I sort of like wide though. And I'm not always walking and talking to be honest. I usually stand still, hurry up, do a quick introduction and then I'm done. Vlogging in public is so nerve wracking. I'd love to be able to build up my skills. Casey from Camera Conspiracies is so good at talking off the cuff when he's out and about in Toronto. 
I aspire to have a channel similar to that. Maybe one day. Okay, and finally, we have it turned to hyper smooth set on boost, also with the wide field of view. Let's see if this, I wanna see if this has a negative effect on my footage because supposedly with the low light and the shutter speed being lower, it causes a lot more motion blur and that's what causes a lot of the jittery, blurry footage I was noticing when I was moving around at the auto show going from car to car. You can let me know what this looks like. I really do enjoy the GoPro. It is so small and discreet. I especially love it for vlogging in public when I get up the nerve to do so. If you like this video, give it a like. Consider subscribing for more camera views from a newbie like me. God bless.